So one day I got a call saying that Mr. Abdul Kalam wants to speak to you. I told her it's a wrong number. This boy sends back 300 rupees saying that the hostel was on strike so I didn't actually spend all this money. But are you come? Because you're such a person, I want to hold you. Padman I saw and I called Twinkle Khanna and told, music I won't give you. If I would not have been in software, if I, I would not have been uh, writing uh, or maybe social work, I would have been... Uh... In your book, How I Taught My Grandmother to Read and Other Stories, you've written a few anecdotes on our favorite teacher, the late president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. <laughs> We would like you to say something about So one day I got a call from uh, Delhi saying that uh, Mr. Abdul Kalam wants to speak to you. I told her it's a wrong number <laughs> because I don't have anything with Abdul Kalam, you know. I knew he was a big scientist, Bharat Ratna, that much I knew, but uh, what is there between me and him to talk? So I told her, oh, there's a mistake, uh, operator, I told him it may be for Narayan Murthy. So instead of Mr. Murthy, I connected to Mrs. Murthy. He said, no, no, he specifically said Mrs. Murthy. Then I was worried, you know, what is, what have I done to <laughs> Abdul Kalam is talking. He said, uh, I read your column, I really like the ending. IT divide was the article I wrote uh, for the week. I went to the shop uh, to buy something and looking at me, he said, uh, it will cost 100 rupees a dozen or something mango. My student who was a software engineer in my own company, she came and she asked me, ma'am, how come you are here? While I was uh, talking to her, then he told, mangoes will cost 200 and she paid and she took. I said, just now you told me 100 and why it's 200 for her? He said, you are a school teacher, you don't understand. She is an IT person, you know, she works in a big company in Forces for that 200 rupees. You are... <laughs> and you are a school teacher because she called me, ma'am, how come you are here, there is an examination time. A teacher, so for you it's 100. Then I realized, for IT company people, they have different rates, including uh, house rent, uh, uh, mangoes, all these markets. Then I wrote on that, a common man divides IT person is four times more. And that Abdul Kalam uh, read that and he called me, said I really laughed. And this is a fantastic um, uh, column and I read your column every time when it comes. That's the way how I knew him and uh, he will call me when the column is very good. You know, he was like a Bhishma, never married, Ichha Marani. Led a simple life. What else do you expect? So many of these stories seem crafted almost like a fictional work. I'm not accusing you of making them up because I knowing you, I don't <laughs> think you would mislead the reader. So these are all true stories. But somehow, I mean, the stories are, are very, very interestingly crafted in ways that have a beginning and an end. But in your life, surely there must be a number of stories whose ending hasn't yet happened to you? These are the real stories. Somebody has said, stories are like movie stories, happy ending. I said, no, out of 100, maybe 10 or 20 are happy ending, 80 are not. I have picked up those stories with a happy ending because I want a positive ray of hope in the next generation. Like this, always, I've seen people, oh, India is like, look at America, look, India is like, look at UK. You can always talk negative about our country. So I want a ray of hope to my next generation, saying that, look, India is doing well. India is going to do well. It is not a computer. You press a button, the button the bow, you will get a result. So I have come across so many people in different ways, but I want to give the ray of hope. And that's reason I have chosen only those 20% stories where you have a happy ending. Uh, you know, I should mention that because these stories are all true, they're bound to provoke a certain curiosity. But for example, there's a story about this very, very poor young boy whom she helps by giving him money that is adjusted to the fees and the hostel and board of his college. To her surprise, one day, this boy sends back 300 rupees saying that my hostel was on strike so I didn't actually spend all this money. I would love to know when this happened, what has the boy done with his life thereafter because such a person must be priceless in our society. His name is Hanuman Tapa and he's from Balari and this incident happened in a 2001, Hanuman Tapa uh, did his uh, teacher's training program. I told him, Beta, you come because you're such a person, I want to hold you. Come and work with me in foundation. I require someone like you. He said, no. Then uh, Mamta is here. Mamta knows that story. Mamta was my ex-secretary. So me and Mamta, you know, we called him. He was too much idealist. He said, I want to be a teacher and change the generation. I want to be in a village. And I told him, okay, you want to uh, teach? Then you do BA, 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 you do MA, you do. 
whatever you want to do i will give money for your education whatever you do but don't stop teachers training program but he did not listen he has become a school teacher he is in near ballari some one village is teaching even today but a priceless diamond it slipped out of my hand i would have mm. kept me in foundation put him in the really in as one of the best projects as you've said um in this engineering college and all across the nation there's an equal ratio of um Girls almost almost but when you go to higher levels of academia and research you find that uh, the prestigious awards and publications are often disproportionate to men so what do you think like steps can be taken by like institutions like this and the government to increase presence of women in why women in research uh, uh, or uh, in uh, you know in higher studies they drop out uh, there's a research and there's a reason also for that because only women deliver once a woman becomes a mother then her priority changes it happens that does not mean that you know she cannot do later she can do and the moment you become a mother your priority is always children and that is the reason that they are lagging behind and i'm sure in a, in a developed countries and i'm sure even in india it is it is it is really picking up it takes time uh, because you should require extraordinary strong support from the family we have read that you are a big movie buff can you highlight something on those lines i always loved movie from my other kid i used to love movie is not seeing a movie for 3 hours for me it is much more than that because i see a movie i'll come back and i write my comments how was the editing what are the sahitya what is the music score in that heart of any movie the story is the story was up to the mark or not for me a movie means it's a creative art When I go for a movie, I said, "How is the editing? Three marks. How is the m- music? Is four marks." Padman, I saw and I called Twinkle Khanna and told, "Music, I won't give you mark." <laughs> if I would not have been in software, if I, I would not have been uh, writing uh, or maybe social work, I would have been uh, a movie journalist, definitely, like Anupama Chopra. So you also acted in a movie. The producer was my friend. Director was my friend. He told me you have to act. I said, look, if you give me very expensive sari, wear it and color my hair and all, I don't look like myself, you know. So whatever dress code I have, in that you give me a role. I don't mind even five, ten minutes or something. Then the best role was the judge, where you don't have to speak at all. Okay. <laughs> After your graduation, sir, did you need? Uh, did the need to achieve financial stability ever inhibit you from taking a risk and establishing Softronics and Infosys? Yeah, he had a working wife, so that was not a problem. Oh no! Uh, ever since I know Murthy for the last forty-five years, he has never made money as the main criteria at all in life. Uh, he had an excellent job. I had a very good job, and we had a daughter who settled in Bombay. And one evening, he comes and tells me, "I am quitting my job. I am starting Infosys," which normally most people would don't like to do because you have everything is settled for you. when you are settled he become he made it unsettled when he founded infosys actually he gave his infosys share to his colleagues which normally a founder will not do when he went to public that time he said let our employees he may be a driver he may be a cook you know he may be a sweeper or a janitor in our company but they should also share the wealth which very few people will think money has never played an important role in our life probably we have understood together if you run after money money runs away from you we you know run of it after a, a particular cause which is much more larger than money and much more generous about it money probably follows you how has your writing evolved so far has the style content and substance uh, changed with time of course it has changed when you are young you think different with experience with lots of ups and downs in life you start thinking in different way and to some extent i, I will tell in my case my social work has affected lot more in my personal life because i am one person who has seen maximum poverty in this room than anyone else i have seen a place i have gone to a place where women, a woman was naked she could not come out because she had no sari i have seen where children were sold for 5000 rupees i have seen that it was very pathetic i have also met you know many politicians many film actresses many vip people all those so my canvas has become very large and that has affected my writing as well in a good way that that soul is life they have taught me a lot in life we unnecessarily fight we unnecessarily think we are very good looking we are very intelligent we are very rich if you are rich there is always a bill gates above you you are very good looking uh, ishwara rai is there okay you are very intelligent okay manjul bhargav is there 
So in life there are always people above you or below you. You should always remember when you are in difficulties look at the people below you and get strength from them and try to lead a normal life.